Hey everyone, RCKOS here, and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario the Origami King. Last time, we fought Origami Gooper Blooper on the Princess Peach, freeing the ship of its tormentor, and we made our way back to uh, Sweet Paper Valley with Bobby, who then sacri uh, sacrificed himself to rescue Olivia. Olivia took it really hardly and fled into the mole village of the area, but we were able to cheer her up with a little spiritual help. And this time, you might be wondering, why the heck are we back in Shogun Studios after that last episode? Well, first off, this is the closest save point, I kid you not. And second, uh, there is something I want to show off in Shogun Studios. It will not happen until Bobby has sacrificed himself. It doesn't... What I'm about to show you is just a nice Easter egg. It doesn't really do anything. It is related to what I was uh, alluding to earlier, though, when we were here the last time. Where we want to go is the photo booth. Wow, it's really weird walking around with Mario now without anyone following him. That, that's just, that just... It didn't feel right in a Paper Mario game and in this one at this point. Welcome to the Dress Up Photo Studio. Would you like a photo? I would. We see our original photo with Bobby in the background. Whoops, I didn't. I guess we're going ninja. But yeah, you want to take any photo you like. Ah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I don't... You don't get anything for filling out all of these photos here. So this is probably the last time we'll be coming here. Unless there is something I'm forgetting. You can let me know. But, yeah. Yeah. And now seems like a good enough time to give my thoughts on what happened last episode, because, oh boy, I have some things to say about that last episode. I will say straight up, as much as I wish I went into that completely blind without being spoiled or anything, I can't say that's the case. I tried so hard to avoid spoilers with this game when I was first uh, playing it. But I happened just to see a YouTube video, and I didn't even watch the video. It was just in my recommended feed, and it, it used the same thumbnail that I used, which I didn't figure was too bad. But the problem is, in its title, which showed up in the feed, it explicitly said what happened. And, yeah, it, I didn't know when it would happen when I saw that. I... It, it happened to be, like, right before it happened for me whenever I saw that... Where am I going? This is not where I need to be. <laughs> I'm just talking and walking away. But yeah, it happened... Like, I saw... I got spoiled right before it actually happened for me, which really irritated me. But I didn't know much about it, admittedly. Like, even when it happened, when I first saw that, I was like... Okay, this game has pulled a lot of jape. They're just gonna they're just gonna pretend sacrifice Bobby and then he'll come back in like five minutes, right? And then the ghost scene happened, and I was like, oh, oh, they're 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 being serious. Oh no! And you know the whole Olivia scene is like, oh, I guess we're done with the japes now. I guess we're I guess we're done with the fun times, are we? And what on that note, after Bobby has sacrificed himself in this valley, this place brings back some difficult memories. We miss you, Bobby. Just the whole storyline of Bobby, who I am not going to call Bomb on, that is not his name for me. His name is Bobby. I agree with Olivia. Uh, just the whole arc of him being a Bomb Mom and Bomb Mom's not being unique. It's just. Wow. You know, like, this is what he is meant to do. And on that note, the whole thing about him not being unique, I feel is the writers of the game screaming at the top of their lungs, we want to make unique characters again. 
But we'll get back into that later. Uh, one other thing real quick before we start going over the new stuff is, you remember last episode when Bobby was sharing his memories with us right before the bomb exploded? That music that was playing during that is a reference to Super Paper Mario. Without spoiling that game too much, at various important points throughout that game, a song called Memories Play. And the song that we heard when Bobby was explaining his memories was roughly the same song. It wasn't perfectly identical, but it was absolutely, like, the same notes and all that. Again, we checked this last time, but if you approach the rock pile... What's wrong, Mario? Let's go! Nothing else happens anymore. Anyway, last time we did briefly look into the Mole City here, but we didn't do anything exploring it, and there is some stuff to find here. You, you get that crime beer or whatever taken care of? Good luck, pal. Hey, let her cry. Let her cry. Yeah, th I will say that that took me back. This was the moment where I was like, oh. I think I kind of love this game, actually. And I will say, I was getting... I was starting to get real burned out with the beginning of this game again. I... After playing through it again, now at the beginning, I realized that this... The game's start, at least up through the end of Shogun Studios. While I love Shogun Studios and auto mounting, even that area is really slow. Like, there's not much going on, but this part is the beginning of where the game gets really good. Trust me. What do you want from me? I'm on my break! Okay. Yeah, admittedly, there are a few rooms here that don't have anything in them. That being said, there is some good stuff to find here, such as we see a chest in that back room here. And we have a ton of coins. Uh, let's break that, break that. Oh, I actually don't need the confetti, so I don't need to break that. Uh, we'll have to go up to get this stuff. Yay, 100 coins. Yeah, there is a lot of money in the mole city here. Uh, we can break into the back, head up here. Get that coin as depth perception totally fails me. And we get the important box. Oh boy, there was a lot of story last episode. If you haven't watched last episode, what's wrong with you? Go watch last episode. Uh, can I go to the right though by any chance? No, okay. Okay, that wasn't the chest, or was it? No, that is definitely a different. Oh, wait. I'm yeah, just break this wall down. You can get this other chest. Screw off, game. These are not the time. This is not the time to be giving me these trophies, but sure. Okay. Another 100 coins. Wow. Yeah, we can pull this Monty Mole out. What's the big idea? I'm digging here. Friends, we pull you out again. How do you like it if I came down to your work and put on some overalls and... Wait, what do you even do? What happens if I pull you again? Oh, wow, it's getting harder. Ah, you got me. You saved me. I was just pretending to work. Yay, Mario, my hero. Look, if I give you something, will you just go away? Whoa, gold hammer! That is an incredibly good item that I admittedly did not utilize nearly enough in my original left or uh, playthrough. I now know that is a good item. That's it! I got nothing else for you. Yeah, he doesn't have anything else for us. Also, you might notice there's a hole here. 100 coins. Been a while since we had to do anything with the hole mechanic from Picnic Road, but sure enough, it it's back. Uh, oh boy. Yeah, this area can be a little difficult to navigate around just because of all the jumping, but I mean, it's, it's nothing too dangerous. Or not dangerous, but difficult. We dig hard and we play hard, but this, this is just mandatory team yoga. You watch, I'm gonna touch my toes one of these years. Hey, you have... I can talk. 
Hey, you from above ground? My big bro couldn't shovel it anymore, so he moved up there. Last I heard, he was selling trinkets on the roadside. You see him? You tell him he stinks, and I love him. Um, don't worry. I know who you're talking about, and trust me, I gave him my four cents the minute I accidentally gave him way too much money. Luckily, we reset time, and that did not happen. Did we, uh... uh I heard that Beagle laughing her wings off. Was that you? I guess you're not so bad. Yeah, sorry if I didn't talk to a lot of these guys before, but... Yeah, it didn't seem like the time. You never know what you're gonna find when you start digging. That's what I love about it! Uh, let's head... Actually, wait, there's... There's this. 100 coins, and... You did it! You found the cave of breakdancing! Just kidding. It's a bathroom, and I'm dancing for non-bathroom related reasons. Okay then. Moving on from that, uh, let's go in here. Ah, this is important. First off, you have iron boots, shiny hammer, and shiny shroom, which... Okay, but this is the guy you want to talk to. Fun, funky, and functional. We got the best accessories in the whole entire, uh, hoe. Silver time plus and treasure alert. Holy crap, this is expensive. Oh, boy. Uh, I do want to get these eventually. However, I haven't really been struggling that much with time. And honestly, if I screw it up, considering I'm trying to gain money, I think I'm just kind of willing to screw it up. I can always come back here. And I believe as of this point, all these guys have synced their shops. I want to say, so that means if we go to any shop, we should also be able to buy these accessories there. So I might be wrong in that because first playthrough, I usually just bought them as I saw them. But now I'm going to be more conservative and hold off. Plus the treasure alert. Eh. If that was the question block alert, I would absolutely pick it up right the freak now. But, um, well... Yeah, we'll come back for these later. You, the treasures are usually not that hard to find. If you think you can't afford it right now and you're not going for 100% like I am, which requires an absurd amount of coins, feel free. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna wait, though, for a while. And what do you have to say? Oh, baby. I hope I'm still clocked in. Okay. Finally, let's head back in here. Olivia. Let's get. Ah, oh, I was hoping you'd have something not unique to say here. Dang it, I never tried that. Unfortunately, Olivia doesn't have anything more to say here when you sit down. This counts as one of the areas you can full heal, but I guess we've already had or said everything there was to say before. With that all said and done, though, we've finished exploring Mole City here. We... Our first visit, and it has some bad memories associated with it now, but... We gotta move on. Rest in peace, Bobby. Anyway, let's head further back into the cave and see if we can make our way forward. I didn't go exploring back here last time. Ooh, hi. I didn't go exploring back here last time, but there is that hundred coins there. Uh, if we break some of these rocks... We got another thousand foot arms, which I'm quickly realizing is a bit of a gimmick for this game and not much else, but I mean... Sure, let's unzip the door. I mean, that's kind of... It's satisfying, I'll give it that. Oh. We could just keep walking forward, but we'll be called back. Hey, little help, I'll make it worth your while. Phew, thanks buddy. Got myself in a real pickle there. I'm sure glad you came along. And you will be glad you came along when you see the kind of value we're offering, offering here today at Toad's Automa Boots. 
Feast your eyes on the boot car. Type B racer. Output. F uh. Uh. Oh my god. I, my mind just went there. Output. Uh, 150 Yoshis. My mind kept consistently trying to say 1,500 Yoshis. It's like, whoa, that's, that's like, that's breaking the sound barrier. Top speed, going mushroom. I like the way they, I like the way they do that. It eats up desert terrain like a tourist at a buffet. When you hit that terrible button, hooey! Better hold on to your mustache, cowboy. Now, the least I can do is offer you a no coins down test ride. By accepting this whistle, you've agreed to the terms and conditions of our not a least lease, TM. Boot whistle summons your trusty boot car type B when you're in the desert. Just blow the whistle and the car come tearing out of nowhere to take you to where you want to go. So stick to the desert, okay? Those tired aren't ready for other types of terrain. No need to read or understand the details of your not a least lease, TM. If the sheath fits, drive it. Hop on in. We could just walk forward, but yeah, he... The, actually, you can't really walk forward. The game is going to force you to use the boot car. Looking good. Now, I'm sure you know how to handle a fine vehicle like this, but let me just give you some pointers. Use L to steer, and if you want to blow the hairs off on your mustache back, hold down ZR to hit the turbo. Keep that button masked and you'll be moving fast enough to break stuff and take out the folded soldiers. Just, uh, mind the paint job, okay? Time to burn leather? Uh, but yeah, if you are boosting, you can take out these enemies with ease. And you can break through stuff like this. Unfortunately, it does require a bit of a speed boost. I'm also gonna get out here just for a minute because... Thousand coins. Wow. I don't even know if I discovered that in my first playthrough. And Hidden Toad. Ugh. What was I folded into? A scoop or a shovel? It matters to me! Ah, well, that's all the toads. And I believe, yep, that's everything in Breezy Tunnel. We've already 100%ed our first two areas here. That being said, we're... Just so you know, if you thought the areas were big before, it's about to get... A lot bigger. Wait, so this is the desert? It's so dark and cold. Where's the scorch? I thought the sun would be beating down on us. It does indeed seem to be a desert, but it's pretty dark out. And I like how everything's purple. I, I really like that. It's so cool looking. Welcome to the scorching sandpaper desert. It, it's really big. Wow. I guess it must be the desert after all, since it's just a wide open space filled with sand. This darkness though. Wait, where's the sun? Do you think it's hiding away because it's angry about something? Huh? Th that can't be good. No wonder it's so dark out here. But wait, it's not just dark. It's actually like there's a black hole in the sky. What a strange place. A desert with a black hole in the sky where the sun should be. But how could that even happen? How could someone get all the way up there and open up a hole? Well, at least it's not scorching hot out here right now. Should we try not to worry about the black hole for now and head for the streamer instead? Yep, we still had the giant golden streamer spreading across the desert. Do da dee da. Visit the sensor lab on Pic. Wow, great timing on Picnic Road to try their latest gizmo, the lemon. Lamination suit. I tried to say that as a lamentation suit, and I'm pretty sure that's what I thought it was the entire first playthrough, but no, it's it's lamination suit. That is on our list of things to do, and believe it or not, you don't have to backtrack for it, just explore the desert some. You might already have an idea what I mean. 
There is a lot to this desert, though. Like, there, there is going to be a lot to explore in the desert. Like, this one map, not the entire desert. Yeah. While exploring the desert, you're probably going to notice these golden marks all around the place. Do not worry about them right now. I will say I'm not going to worry about exploring the desert too much right now just because, well, we'll have plenty of time to explore it while we're here. I just kind of want to move on and get through the area. But there are new enemies here. As tempting as it is to just endlessly plow through them. You do need to battle them at least once just to get them registered. Uh, one place of interest, though, is right here. Can I get you to come down? Come down, little lizard. It's gonna be, it's gonna be weird having new toads to find again. He is being kind of... Hmm. Aren't you tired of walking? Yeah, you can walk across the entire desert. You don't actually have to take the boot car with you once you're beyond that cave. I still recommend taking the boot car though, because it's a big it's a big place. This is why I was saying you don't really have to backtrack. Will goes to Central Lab in just a moment. However, real quick, I want to When driving be fun. There we go. Don't be annoyed with me. I was using my lizard brain. He sounds way too happy about his lizard brain. Just saying. Uh, let's head over here. And rescue you. Remember, these guys count as toads in need of rescuing as well. I only say this because this... I did miss one of these toads in the past. Yeah, phew. Thank you so much, Mario. I thought I'd be jammed in there forever. This is one of the Sensor Lab satellite office... Blah, blah, blah. Satellite offices located right here in Scorching Sandpaper Desert. What do you say, Mario? Want to fax travel to our main sensor lab location? Uh, sure. Let's let's get going. For anyone wondering, this is how we're gonna end the episode off. To we're just gonna get the upgrade and then get to the nearest safe point. And next time we'll be exploring the desert more. Sorry if I took so much time talking about and giving my thoughts on, you know, the event but it was worth doing. Sensational. I've truly outdone myself this time. Sorry, I had to get a, I had to get a sip of water there. I was dying of thirst after all this talking. Ah, uh, Mario, join me in a little thought experiment, won't you? What if, rather than detect unseen objects, you were to create a device that makes you undetectable. You need it wonder. Feast your eyes while you can upon the lamination suit. Wearing this will make it easier for you to sneak by enemies. Boom! Another paradigm shifted. Hop down that pipe and I'll give you a quick primer on how to work the lamination suit. Uh, yep, let's give it a try. That way we can have it nice and unlocked. Okay, Mario. Let's have you try for the lamination suit on for size. I butchered that. Do you see? Or rather, rather do you not? This two sunset. Be careful not to bump a brush against any foes. That would reveal your position. Enemies with sharpened senses will see right through this trick, rather than seeing right through you. Haha! -ha. Just like the code radar, the suit's battery will drain in rather quickly. Keep an eye on your power. Enough gabbing. Time to put this see-through suit to the test. Reach the flag before the battery runs out. Don't get caught by any folded soldiers. Okay, real talk. While I do like this segment quite a bit, I am going to be perfectly honest and say that lamination suit here, pretty much useless. 
at least from my first playthrough. Maybe it has hitting uses, but all it lets you do is avoid enemies, which you almost never want to do in this game because you need money. And on top of that, enemies, for the most part, are just kind of easy enough to avoid as it is. Does this Goomba ever move? I don't think he ever moves. So I guess we're going the long way around. I will say the lamination suit also runs out of power really freaking fast, which... Again, another reason I don't like the lamination suit too much. It's not particularly useful. And yet it costs a lot of power. Oh, I see what's happening here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my distance just a little bit because they're gonna be doing that. Oh, yep, you stupid Goombas. Let's, let's just get out of the way. Can't get out of the way. They're gonna keep going. Okay, let's get the flag. You made it through all of the tests. Nice job. It's another explosion-free test. This may be our longest streak ever. We're free to advance this... Uh, we're free to advance to the field test for this item as well. As I mentioned in the test, more powerful souls, souls, foes may still sense your presence. Be careful out there. We got the lamination suit, yay. I'm gonna be honest, the first playthrough, the only time I used this freaking suit was here. It's pretty useless. My work here is incomplete. Uh, can I go back to... Take me to Scorching Sandpaper Desert. I mean, it's a nice item if you're, like, say, speedrunning the game, but beyond that, I don't see any uses for this item. If you're 100%ing the game, you're never going to use it. With that all done, though, I think we're going to end this episode right over here next to this giant tower of a toad. Uh, first cutscene though. Hmm, what's this? It looks like there's a way inside. Should we try it out? Whoa, look at this huge lanky guy. And the top almost looks like someone we know, doesn't it? <laughs> With that being said though, we're going to end this episode here. Next time, we set out to explore Scorching Sandpaper Desert and see what we can find. Thank you all for watching. I've been RSKOS, and I will see you all next time. Take care. Bye.